my dear viewer and listener, welcome to our today's discourse that is entitled Dangerous Wealth. Before we begin, let us bow down for a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we invite your dear presence that you may minister unto us in a special way so that we may be able to internalize this message for the honor and the glory of your name for this humble prayer in Jesus name amen my dear viewer and listener the world is obsessed in search for wealth there has never been a time that the world is obsessed with the search for wealth than it is now for that reason today we have endeavored to tackle this important topic for your digestion for the honor and the glory of god's name wealth is a blessing from god whenever people were wealthy in the bible whenever they were given material possession they attributed it unto blessings from God. For that reason, wealth is not evil. It is a blessing from God. Personally, I don't love poverty because poverty has a destructive force. It is better to strive to acquire, acquire wealth. An English adage goes, not all that glitters is gold. Yes, wealth is good, but we must not be obsessed in acquiring wealth at the expense of humanity and even the love for God. Uh, in seeking to do this, we must strike a balance. In uh, John Rugenda's book, The Burdens, there is a statement that he makes. Too much ambition breaks a man, but too little takes him nowhere. So we must break, we must strike a balance between being ambitious, our ambition must not be overstretched to the extent that uh, we lose focus of the things in the cosmos and the things in heaven. For that reason, it is good for you to watch out. The book of Proverbs chapter 11 verse 28 New King James Version. The Bible says, He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like foliage. It is good for you to understand this Bible text. Um, Paul writes to young Timothy in the book of uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, and this is what it says. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves, though. Uh, the root word that has, employed, has been employed in this context uh, the love of money. Money is not evil, but the love of money ha can breed all kinds of evil in the world. The love for money. This, this word, love, has been used positively and negatively. And the root word, uh, love, comes from agapao, that uh, in most cases, we render it for agape. So in other words, 
we would say the the agapao for money is the root cause of all kinds of evil it is good for you to understand that when the wealth replaces the love for god and humanity then it becomes dangerous wealth remember god's blessing is endowed power money is power but a lesser form of power god's blessing is supreme power these words were once uttered by dr dollar an american preacher here are some forms of dangerous wealth my dear viewer and listener wealth acquired through corruption we are living in a world where people want to make a killing of anything they want to have in offices in private sex sector public sector everywhere corruption is thriving but we must be aware that corruption cannot solve the problems of the society wealth acquired through corruption the bible says in uh, proverbs chapter 13 verse 11 the more easily you get your wealth the sooner you will lose it the harder it is to earn the more you will have so we have been admonished not to love uh, money that comes to us easily in uh, in public offices in uh, private sector offices wherever we are by the roadsides wherever we are we must not love cheap money because it will come you may seem like you are enjoying but tomorrow you will regret uh, proverbs chapter 21 verse 6 the bible says the riches you get by dishonest means soon disappears but not before they lead you into the jaws of death there are things that seemeth right before your eyes but soon or later they will lead you astray my dear viewer and listener money acquired through corruption is money that won't help you in eternity number two when uh, when wealth is an object of worship money become an object of worship when it has replaced the love for god and love for humanity i had already indicated the love for money is the root cause of all evil number three superstition the bible in the book of Levitic leviticus chapter 19 verse 31 the bible says do not turn to mediums or seek them for you will be defiled by them we have seen or you have heard people who have turned to underground movements the illuminati societies the freemasons to acquire wealth or even to boost their talents for popularity my dear listener it is good for you to be original god is there for you do not turn for these other things that may may seem to be very good but in the end they will be expensive to you you have had people who even kill in order to acquire wealth they they offer human sacrifice in order for them to acquire wealth 
what gain will you get to acquire the entire world and lose your own, your own life? Jesus once said. My dear viewer and listener, uh, another form of dangerous wealth is true through theft. Uh, the book of uh, Exodus chapter 20 verse 15, the Bible says, do not steal, do not steal. There are, there are thieves who break into banks, into homes. They, they steal virtually anything they may want to steal. Nowadays, they even cyber stealing. Uh, the Bible instructs us not to steal, not to steal. That is acquiring wealth in a manner that is not good. My dear viewer and listener, we have heard about stealing exam. It is not good to steal exam because you cannot steal knowledge. If you steal knowledge and knowledge has not gotten into you, then uh, that is uh, an exercise in futility. You will not be useful in the society. Uh, we have heard money has capabilities and also incapabilities. I want to take you through the capabilities of money and the incapabilities of money. Money can buy pseudo justice in our corrupt law courts, but money cannot buy justice in heaven. Money can buy a house or even build a house, but it cannot buy peace or joy. Money can buy books or knowledge, but it cannot buy wisdom. Money can buy a passport for entry to any part of the world, but money cannot buy passport to heaven. Money can buy food, but money cannot buy appetite. We have seen so many rich people who have money, they have food, but they do not have appetite. We have seen poor people who do not have money, they do not have food, but their appetite is up to date. Give them food and uh, you'll be surprised. Uh, money can buy expensive bed, but money cannot buy sleep, sound sleep. Money can pay dowry, but money cannot pay for true love. Money can buy drugs, but money cannot buy good health. My dear listener, do not be obsessed to love money against God and humanity. Redefine your life. Do not go overboard. For this sharing, may God bless you in Jesus' name. Before we wind up, let us bow down for a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, lead us faithfully into knowing the dangers of what wealth can bring with it. Help us to seek for wealth, strive for, for, it, for it in a way that will glorify your name. Let your goodness be a life-saving experience in our lives. For this is a humble prayer in Jesus' holy name. Amen.